Hey guys, welcome to part three of my three style tutorial. Um, so this part's going to be a continuation of my last video on corner commutators, but um, in this video I'm going to move into more than just pure commutators, meaning different kinds of commutators with setup moves and how to spot them. Um, uh, a lot of the stuff in this video will make sense, but it won't be stuff that you're going to be able to do quite yet. Um, but just just think of it like um, when you first learned F2L, if you ever did, like you probably watched a video where um, someone showed some cases, but then you you understood how the cases worked, but you didn't quite know how to find them and make them appear during your solves. Um, but that took time. So um, a lot of these techniques are just going to be things to keep in mind um, for later when you'll actually start to be able to see them. Um, and then they'll make more sense. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain, I'm going to like sort of follow up on my last video and explain how to find some like pure commutators and then what to do when you can't find a pure commutator. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about sort of the sets of um, commutators that you find in 3Style. So, okay, so jumping right in, um, I'm going to just talk a little bit more than I did in the last video about how to, about how to construct a commutator for a case. So uh, I'm going to set up a case really quick. Okay, so... Here we have um, UBL, which is my buffer, to to L um, to uh, LDB, which is right here, to RDF, right? So now the first thing you might notice when looking at this case is that here we have an interchange because you can see that this green goes over there, um, and so that's pretty nice. And you'll also notice that our third, our third uh, corner is in the other layer. So um, I'm going to show two ways of figure of figuring out the solution to this commutator. Um, the first way is sort of the the sighted person's approach to this, which is look here's the interchange, and so we're just going to focus on the stickers on the interchange layer. So here we have the green sticker. Um, which is the color of the interchange layer, and it's pretty easy to see that in order to insert this into there, we're just going to do R U R prime, right? And so, uh, one thing that a lot of people get confused about is: do I do an interchange first commutator or a or an insertion first commutator? So, um, just to take a step back for a second, to to explain that, um, uh, what I'm going to say is is that notice how when you do a commutator, basically what you're doing is you're taking a corner out and putting it back in in a different spot. So if my if my insertion is R R U R prime, then this is the corner I'm taking out. And the question is if so if I do the insertion first, I'm gonna pull this corner out and then I'm gonna drop it back in, in the other spot. If you look at it, you can see that this is the corner that needs to go there, and so and so, th so insertion first does make sense if this is your commutator. Now, what about the fact that I c my a different insertion I can do is is holding it like this r prime u two r. So, um, so if you'll look, that works because this this spot would be a spot to insert this green sticker. And when I do the r prime here, see, watch this spot; it goes right there where it's interchangeable with this, and then, see, I'm moving it down into there. Now, if I do that, however, I'm now inserting this into there. And so what would happen was I would pull this one out, then I would do my interchange, and I would put it back in into this spot. But the thing is that that's not the direction that the cycle goes. Therefore, if I'm doing it in that direction, I have to do the, I have to do the um, interchange first where I do this, D2 first, and then I pull out this one in order for it to be moved over there. Um, and so, 
And so hopefully that makes sense. So now here's the thing though. You may notice that um, I've been talking about this cycle um, as, as sort of um, uh, DBL to DFR to, um, to L, LUB, which is, which is all good if that's the way you're going to see it. However, if you're doing a blind solve and UBL is your buffer, then that's not what the cycle is going to look like. It's going to look like UBL to, to um, L, LDB to RDF. And so, but you can still see the interchange without having to see this color because, because this one, because this sticker can clearly go to where this sticker is. And if you have the spatial reasoning to be able to do the setup moves necessary in Old Pogman, you should definitely be able to see this. And so, of course, there is yet a third interchange between these two pieces, which is also FDR to BDL. So, as you can see, this sticker, when you do the D2 interchange, will end up there. So, the thing is that it's the same commutator no matter what, no matter what side of the piece you're working with. So, so one tip for finding interchange, for finding insertions without having to see the bottom layer stickers is to briefly make, make your target sticker interchangeable with with the buffer or the whatever the third sticker is. So if I'm doing this particular cycle where this is going there and that's going there, it's very, as you can see, it's very easy. I can make my, I can make this interchangeable with this with just one move, which is an F prime. And then U2F will finish off the insertion part of my commutator. Um, and so, and so, what that allows you to do is sort of see different kinds of commutators. Now, if I wanted to insert this sticker into there, very easy. Just do R, and then these two are interchangeable. But now, of course, there's obviously the third, um, always the ugly, the ugly duckling case, which is inserting the top into the bottom, which is never good. Now, um, one important thing to note is that top inserting into bottom if we trace around clockwise on both pieces, is the same as inserting opposite to opposite and also inserting this into there. So if you ever see a shape like that where it's either top to bottom or on different faces like this or on different faces like this, that's going to be the ugly case that um, you can use, you, that either you're going to have to find a new commutator or you can use the five move sequence um, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2 to um, insert. And so that's pretty nice because it's the same forwards and backwards. So you don't even have to worry about uh, doing it backwards a second time. And the the like up and down version of that, the, I'm sorry, the bottom to top version is R prime, F prime, R2, FR. But I will get more into that later. Um, so one thing to notice is one thing to notice is that there's another interchange for this commutator, which is from which is from here to here. So if you so if you're thinking about it from this angle, um, UBL to LDB, if that's the cycle we're thinking about, it's easy to see that it's easy to see that these two stickers are interchangeable here. So now the challenge is to find the correct insertion for here to here, and so we're just going to do that by again. So now this becomes our interchange layer, and this is our insertion layer. And so um, I know that this goes there and this goes there. So I just need to briefly, I just need to, in one move, make one of these two stickers interchangeable with this one within the, within the insertion layer. And so what I need to do in order to be able to do that is, um, is move, is, so this, this is my target sticker, and this needs to, I need to make one of these in, uh, interchangeable with that, which means that it needs to go here, 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 or here. Well, obviously not here, because that's where it already is. Um, and so the easiest way to do that is, um, let's see, I haven't thought this through entirely, is, um, uh, yes, is to, okay, sorry, is to lift this up here, and so now this sticker is there. Wait a second. This is embarrassing. Um, 
oh, it doesn't work. So there's no way to do it because this is the awkward case, which I was talking about. So because there, as you can see, there's no way to in one move, move either of these two, um, move either of these two into here, here, or here. Um, and so I would have to either choose the very nice eight move commutator or do like a really awkward 12 move one with a one move setup move. Okay, so um, that's basically what I have to say about um, insertions and interchanges for pure commutators. Um, wow, this video is going to be pretty long, but uh, hopefully that sort of uh, wraps up all the things uh, from the previous video. Okay, so now what most of you have... So if you have any questions about that, leave that, leave them in the, in the uh, comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, what most of you probably have noticed by now is that most commutators can't be solved with pure commutators. And this is the case. So most of the commutators you'll end up using in three style will either be nine movers or ten movers. Um, and so, and so a ten mover, very simply, is just a one move setup to an eight move commutator, and then undo the setup. So an example of a case. So I'm going to give an example of a ten move case. I'm going to set it up using old Pachman. Okay. So here we go. So here's the case. Um, UBL to UBL to um, R R D B to F. Um, what do you call this? Um, F R U. So here we go. Um, and so basically, here's the deal. Um, I'd really like I'd really like um, the top layer to be my interchange layer because it's always nice um, when that happens. So, um, so, and, so, and here is this sticker. So the key to finding a good setup move is to remember the rule of creating an interchange. And so I have my work basically cut out for me when I see this one's on the bottom and this one's right here on the top and this one just needs to be put into the bottom in such a way as to create a nice, uh, a nice easy interchange. Um, and so as you can see, this sticker right here is, um, is interchangeable with this sticker and this sticker and this sticker. Um, and so this, in order to put it in the bottom layer, well, there's really only one way. And it just so happens that that way puts this sticker right here interchangeable with this one. And then the insertion, very simple, make this sticker interchangeable with that one and finish that off and then this way and so on. Um, however, that would be the wrong direction for the cycle because I need this to go here. So you're always going to insert first into the spot. You're always going to insert first into the spot that um, needs to go to the other one. So this is where the difference is really important between seeing a commutator on a cube and visualizing a commutator because here, in order to visualize the commutator, you not only need to see that an F move creates this interchange, but you also need to be able to see that this one needs to go here because that's the order of the cycle. So this is an interchange first because I need to move the one that goes to there into the, into the insertion spot first. And then I'm going to pull it out, interchange back, and drop it into there, and then undo the setup move. So. I'm going to just undo that really quick. And um, another thing to notice is that if you wanted to also, you could create make this one with a different setup move interchangeable with this one. Now, this is a slightly more complicated one because um, this R move, which will cause this interchange here to exist, will then will then will involve a little bit of tracing in order to make in order to make um, this in order to make this interchangeable with this because you're also moving this piece. And so that's something to always be aware of is that you're always, is if you ever make an interchange that also moves the other piece. Those can be very useful at times, which you'll see in the next example. So anyway, this commutator, I'm gonna walk you through this. Um, I'm gonna create this interchange. So now the, the piece that used to be here with the R move moved right here. So now my cycle is UBL to, R, um, to RFD to um, UBR. And so, so now here's the thing. Now we have to, 
see where the cycle wraps around because our interchange isn't between the two non-buffer pieces. The interchange now is between the buffer and this piece. So the question is, which way does the cycle go? Which, which of these two is the hot spot where the, um, where the insertion move needs to happen first? And the, the answer is that cycles just wrap around very intuitively. So what we have here is we have UB, UBL to RFD to UBR, but then UBR then continues back to UBL. So as we can see, UBR is going to UBL. Um, and, and so the insertion, we're just going to have to make this sticker interchangeable with this one, which is our new spot. Um, and so if you look, you can try to do it, right? If you move it down here. So, okay, so this spot, again, is interchangeable here, here, and back here. Um, and so we need to move this sticker to one of those places. If we do an R prime, that doesn't work because it's not this spot. It's this spot on this piece. But if we do an R, then we're also moving this one. So that's no good either. But here's the thing. Since we have both interchange first and insertion first commutators, we can always we can always just go over here and we can always just move this over here and insert from this spot. And as we can see, just in one move with a simple B move, this UBL moves down here to where it's interchangeable with that. And so basically we just obviously a rotation to make things a little more ergonomic and we move this across because it's an inser it's an interchange first now that we're inserting into this spot because this needs to go to there we pull this out do the interchange back and we put it back in right there and then undo the setup move so that's the most basic case of a 10 move commutator is just set up a setup move to create an interchange and then um, and then and then you just have a pure commutator from there. So you might be thinking how then do you have a nine move commutator? And the answer is that the setup move cancels with the one either the A or the B part of the commutator. Um, and so that is called an A9 because it's nine moves and it could cancel with the A part of the commutator, and technically it's called a B9 if it cancels with the B part of the commutator, but I'm just going to be referring to it as an A9. And you can also remember it because A perm is actually an A9. So here I'm going to set up a case using old Pachman, and we're, <clears throat> and we're going to try to solve it. So I haven't used old Pachman in a while. Um, so here we go. So here, um, you may notice this is actually an A-perm, but I'm going to solve it a little more, a little intuitively. Um, so here we have UBL to R, um, to uh, RBU to DBR. Um, and so the thing is they're all interchangeable with each other, which is you might think is nice. Oh, we have our interchange cut out for us. However, um... However, it's not really that nice because we don't have one in another layer. Um, and so there are, a, there are a bunch of different ways of thinking about this commutator. Um, but the, the, the nicest case for this is just to take, okay, we have this interchange here, but doing an R move moves the entire interchange. So, that, so these are our two pieces that are going from here. So we just move the entire interchange so that now... So that now um, so that now they're on a totally different layer from this one, and we just have a very similar commutator to the one we had before, which we did, remember, we did the F interchange to. It's actually the exact same commutator. So here we just did an R, and then we're going to, um, and then we need to see which one's going to which one. Um, this one's going to that one. And so if that one's going there, we need to insert into this, into this spot first. So there's our interchange, insertion, go back, insertion, and then here's the thing. When we do our last R prime of the insertion, that then cancels into one move with undoing the setup move. And so that's an A9. So that's a fairly advanced type of A9, I would say, because you have to see that both of these are moving, and you also have to see that 
you're then going straight into the interchange, whether it's at the end or at the beginning, depending on which direction your commutator is going. However, um, the easiest kind of the easiest kind of um, the easiest kind of A9 to C is one where it cancels with the interchange rather than the um, insertion. So remember how we had uh, this case right here where we did R prime U to R D two R prime U to R D two. So the thing is that um, is that we can set up a very similar commutator if we do a D first and then do that and then do another D and then end with a D two. So now um, so now we have this to there and stuff and so we could do our other insertion but that involves a Y two in it a y2 rotation instead of just a y prime rotation. So what we want to do is we want, we want to use this insertion again because as it is we're on the same interchange layer. So all we do is we just set up this spot all the way over here under there and then we go and then we go back again and then we go and we go back. And so it's very simple. All you're doing is I said I want to move this to there so I just put that under the spot where it needs to go and then moved it across and then just at the end I had to move it back. And so that I would think I would say is the most um, is the most intuitive type of a nine where you're just you're on the same interchange and um, and then you just set it up like that. Uh, so I would so um, that brings me very nicely actually into my next topic, which is um, interchange groups, um, as I call them. So basically what an interchange group is, is it's just a group of P, a group of targets that share an interchange and most often will also share an insertion. So if UBL is your buffer, um, basically every, every face other than the top face, uh, other than top left and back, so F, R, and D, create different interchange groups. So the thing, so, and this is, this is sort of me um, building up to the next video where I'm going to show you guys how to sort of work around your commutators so that you can get as much out of as many three styles, three style uh, cycles as possible out with um, knowing as little as possible. So basically that was one group that I just showed you that. So I would say there's a D layer interchange group where one side of that is RFD, FLD, L, D, B, and so on. And so for that group, if you want to, you can solve any case with the R prime U to R insertion if you just if you just take the first one you want to insert to. So let's say I have um, so let's say I have this case where I'm going to here and then to there, right? That's in that interchange group. And so that interchange group, I can just use that same, it might not be the nicest commutator for this, and it definitely isn't, but if I want to move this, if I'm if I want to move this corner to there on that interchange, just have to do a D2, and then that one, and then move this one to there, and then undo that, and then that. And that's an A9, but it's really just intuitive. Really, all I'm doing is I'm pulling this one out, and then I'm moving that one under, and I'm putting it back in there. Um, and so... Yeah, explore around with these interchange groups. So remember that the D the D interchange has three groups on it. It has the one starting with RDF, but also has the one starting with FDR, which has a nice R U to R prime insertion instead, as you can see, because the R the R makes these uh, interchangeable with UBL. Um, and so yeah, basically my goal with this video was to show you guys how pure commutators can really lead into a lot of things. And I know that a lot of you have probably heard of the different cases like um, cyclic shifts um, and columns, but they're really you, you really don't need those fancy names. All you need are these pure commutators with setup moves. You don't even need A9s at first. The A9s will come with time. Um, the A9s will definitely come with time. You can always just start with one move interchange to an eight move commutator. You're, it's not optimal. It's not always going to be optimal. In fact, most of the time it's not going to be optimal. Most cases uh, that can't be solved as pure commutators can be solved as A9s. But, but what my point is, is that 10 moves is still a lot better than the 30 something moves that you'll need for an old Pachman cycle. Um, 
And so that's what I have to say about that. Um, I recommend just playing around with interchange groups, playing around with different insertions, and seeing which side of the interchange group a certain insertion will insert a piece. If you have questions, leave them below. Sorry this video was so long, but um, commutators are kind of essential given that three style is uh, totally based on commutators. Um, the rest of the videos from here will be a lot shorter. I mean, the, this I kind of dropped a lot of really important concepts in this video. Um, thanks for sticking to the end, and see you next time.